Hello, welcome to this video, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and today I'm going to be giving you a really quick TBR for the Summerween Readathon. The Summerween Readathon starts tomorrow, the day after this video is posted, August 24th, and lasts until August 30th. I am super excited to get a jump start on the Halloween season. This Readathon is hosted by Olivia Reads a Latte and Gabby Reads, um, and has some really cool prompts, so I'm just going to go ahead and let you know what I'm going to read. I just started a new semester of college, and so there's a lot going on at the moment, a lot of moving pieces, especially with like my work-study jobs and things. So. Um, I tried to minimize the TBR as much as I could and double up, and there's also one prompt that I'm probably going to be skipping, um, but let's just get into it. So the first book that's on my TBR is Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. I chose this for read a book with a creepy cover. I mean, it's not super creepy, but like... This is sort of creepy. Um, this is a Hercule Poirot novel about a 13-year-old girl who at a Halloween party boasts that she's witnessed a murder um, and no one believes her and then she is found floating in the pool a few hours later. So Hercule Poirot is called in to investigate. I may have read this before, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna read it again and try to find out. But nevertheless, this is also going to go for um, a book to read in the dark. I am kind of a scaredy cat, but I'm wanting to get into gothic and horror novels and so, and thrillers as well. Um, but I love murder mysteries, so I know this is something that I can handle reading in the dark, you know, just like turn off all the lights in my room and have my little um, book light hooked onto my book, read it in the dark. Um, we'll see how that goes, but these, this is my creepy cover and a book to read in the dark. And the next book is also a double up. It's Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'm reading this for a paranormal slash supernatural book as well as a creepy cover. Um, I just sort of put this for creepy cover as well because if I don't get to Halloween party um, then I can double up for this. I think both of these count for all three of those prompts. Allegedly in Halloween party there's an evil presence that Hercule Poirot is called in to investigate. So I think both of these books could go for a creepy cover and supernatural slash paranormal and a book to read in the dark, but um, I didn't want to just restrict myself to like one novel. So I've also got Jacqueline by Bram Stoker, a classic horror novel that I have never had the pleasure of reading in an English class and so I'm really excited to see what the origin of vampire lore is from um, all of the reinterpretations in literature and pop culture. This is about a young solicitor who goes to Count Dracula's um, country estate to meet him um, and convince him to buy property in London and has a lot of very strange experiences while he's at Count Dracula's estate. Um, so really excited to experience this novel um, and see what's inside. Neither of these are very long, so Hopefully I'll be able to finish them in a reasonable amount of time. And then the last thing that I've chosen for the prompt read a book with a haunted house is The Fall of the House of Usher from um, this collection, complete collection of Edgar Allan Poe's work. I saw um, an essay online the other day that was entitled Edgar Allan Poe and the Invention of the Haunted House. So I um, figured, and the essay was regarding the fall of the House of Usher, so I figured this would be a good short option um, to get that haunted house point um, on the readathon prompts. And I'm excited to start to get into more of Poe's work. I'm sort of familiar, but I don't know it super well, so I'm really excited about this as well because I can get this done, obviously, like in one night really easily. And then the prompt that I'm going to skip is actually, sadly enough, a book recommended by the hosts. Um, I didn't really want to go out and buy any books for this readathon. I had a couple of creepy books. Um, that I had brought from home to college, and those are really what I'm working with. I really don't want to purchase any books, and if I had read a book recommended by the hosts, I would have had to purchase a book for the readathon. So I just decided to skip over that prompt, and I'm I'm sure Olivia or Gabby, neither of them would be mad at me or anything. But yeah, I'm really excited to participate with the three books that I have, and then I have a whole other collection still in my shelves of books to read in October. I've got The Shining, I've got Frankenstein, and I've got The Phantom of the Opera, and I may go out then and pick up a 
thriller or two, but we'll see. If you're participating in Summerween, in the Summerween readathon, please let me know down below. You could link the video to your TBR or you could just um, write in the comments what you're planning on reading. I hope you are gonna participate because I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm planning to vlog the week, vlog my week reading in college, trying to do a readathon and balance all the stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this quick Sunday bonus video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are doing well. And if not, I hope it gets better soon. And I hope you love what you're reading. I'll see you soon.